Properties for Sale show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise to you giving it to you straight. Folks, what I got for you today, mighty fine building. 2002 West 100th Cleveland, 44102. Right over there on the west side, solid, stable neighborhood, okay? This is a good cash flow neighborhood, folks. When I talk about cash flow and I talk about the neighborhoods, typically I refer you guys to something I created several years ago called the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. In that guide, I graded all the neighborhoods on an A to F scale, right? F is going to be low cost, high risk. A is going to be the polar opposite. Depending on what your real estate strategies and goals and budgets are, uh, you may uh, want to be tapped into different types of neighborhoods. For instance, I think A grade neighborhoods work horribly for long-term buy and hold, right? They're majority owner occupants. But conversely, that's where you're going to make the most money trying to flip houses, right? Things of that nature. So what we have here today is a long-term buy and hold property. And this property outside of the neighborhood has several reasons why it's one of the best types of long-term buy and hold properties. Uh, but before I get into that, what I want to make sure you're aware of is I think the best types of properties for long-term buy and hold, what I see as being the most popular, are your C and D neighborhoods. This one is a C neighborhood. So it's right where you want to be, right? You want to be in an area where you can get second Section 8 rental income, but you can also get cash paying tenants and they're fairly manageable, unlike an F grade neighborhood where the risk is just, in my opinion, insurmountably too high for a lot of out of state investors or new investors, right? Uh, so I think this is like positioned perfectly in regards to neighborhoods for long term buy and hold. Another reason I like properties like this for long term buy and hold are for two more reasons. One, it's a three unit, okay? Three and four units, in my opinion, are the best long-term buy and hold investments because those are the largest properties you can buy and still get the 30-year residential financing. 25% down, fixed interest, low interest. Now, I say low interest, and I know a lot of you guys are like, it's not low interest. The interest rates are higher, James. Well, 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 cry me a river. You got to pay 5 or 6% in interest nowadays guys three percent interest was artificially lowered for like a decade coming out of the biggest housing crisis this country has ever seen that was not sustainable that was not normal that was free money if you were sitting on the sidelines during that time not buying that's your fucking problem you should have bought motherfucker but that is over interest rates are only going to continue to rise so if you're smart you're gonna make moves quickly it's real estate guys they ain't making any more land the value continues to increase if you have the opportunity to borrow money to quadruple right your net worth because you put down a quarter bank kicks in the other three quarters right buy a hundred thousand dollar property you only need 25 grand man the bank's kicking in the majority of the funds and your tenants are paying the friggin mortgage you gotta do so it just makes sense so don't I don't want to hear nobody else crying about these interest rates. They're still freaking low. What are you freaking maniacs paying on your friggin' visa? Like 28%? Come on, guys. This is not historically high interest rates, so quit freaking crying. Now, additionally, what else I like about this property is the layout. This is set up like townhomes. This is side by side, right? It's essentially like three single-family homes smashed together, right? Multifamily is great. I've made... Uh, millions of dollars in the multifamily space. It is my bread and butter. But I will admit, uh, an up-down multifamily property like a duplex, it's not as kosher as a side-by-side, -side, right? Because the tenants typically fight a lot more in those. More fights equal more upset tenants, which equals more turnover, which equals more money for you, right? So the fact that this is side-by-side -side and qualifies for the very best types of financing is Friggin' awesome, not to mention it's in the type of neighborhood you want it to be in. Last but not least, folks, uh, market rent, right? Right now, twenty-eight fifty. If we're talking about selling this at uh, hitting the 1% rule, right? You're looking at a price point of 285 k to hit the 1% rule. I know y'all love that 1% rule. Uh, but 
I have priced it about a hundred and five thousand dollars less. Why? Because I'm awesome? No, because there are a little bit of repairs that need to happen. We got to put about thirty. I think it's like thirty-six to forty k. I got some estimates up here on the side. We have a current lead paint estimate about twenty-three thousand dollars is what it's going to take to get this entire property lead certified it goes over everything you need if you've never heard of the lead certification uh, laws they are brand spanking new here in the cleveland market after this show uh, click the notes below. I got a video explaining that to you. Whether or not you want to buy a property from Holton Wise, whether or not you want to work with me, whether or not you like this property, uh, you still need to understand those lead paint laws. So I suggest you check that out after this show. So we got about 23,000, right? Got it up there. 23K uh, in lead paint work. Additionally, on top of that, uh, we were going to turn the other unit over for the current owner about like a year ago. Uh, bid was like, I think it was like 13. Let me look at my paper here. I think it's, how much was that bid? I know it's on the screen, but I can't see the screen. I'm looking at you. 13,398 was our bid at that time. Uh, that was like a year ago. So pricing may have increased a little bit. Uh, since then, as you guys know, inflation has been running wild. So, uh, that's why I said between like 36 and 40 K, right? It's not like that 13 K bid is like doubled, but it may come in a couple bucks higher, uh, because you know, Supply chain issues, and it's 20 friggin' 22. Y'all be paying $5 a gallon, right, for your gasoline. You weren't doing that last year. So uh, might be a couple bucks higher. Tis what it is, folks. You got to pay to play. But other than that, solid investment. Think it's going to do very well for uh, local investors and out-of-state investors, right? We got one of those properties vacant. We're keeping it vacant. So if you are in town and you want to get into that property, you can do it two ways. One, you can send an email to sales at holtonwise.com. We will get you in there. Or two, if you're working with your own real estate agent, uh, the information on how they can get you in there will be in the MLS. They'll just need to contact us through those means. And after that, or if you're out of state and you're not going to see the unit, you just want to make your offer contingent on inspection, simply send it into my team, sales at holdenwise.com. If you want to get some of that beautiful financing I was talking about uh, and you need a lender, we'll shoot one to you. If you already have it, shoot me your pre-approval letter and the amount you want to offer. If you want to pay cash, that's cool. You can, but you don't necessarily have to. That's all I got, folks. Let her rip. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.